Over a year ago, we purchased this old stone house in the foothills of the Alps, and we have been working together as a family to restore it. That's a big one. Nice. Portions of this house are believed to be nearly 700 years old, but there was an old cistern that was added in the 1950s that was built in cement and didn't really match the aesthetic of the original structure. We decided to tear the cistern out, dig out around the surrounding mountain, and use the stones that we excavated to build a new room. Today, the expansion officially begins as we pour the foundation. So today I have the massive privilege of working with Alessio and Carlos. I say it's a huge privilege because Alessio has 20 years of experience and Carlos has 30 years of experience. So to me, working alongside two people like that with such a deep level of experience, specifically with how they build stone houses in this area, um, with that level of expertise passed down from generation to generation, that to me is priceless. That's probably a reoccurring thing that you'll hear me say over and over through the following weeks and months as we're hopefully working together because that level of education that they can pass to me as we're working just makes me giddy, to be honest. But also just to see the pace at which we are working, to see the, the room coming together or the foundation currently coming together so fast. And, and I cannot wait to move on to shaping those stones and building the stone walls. Well, good morning. Today is a very exciting day because we are finally building up this room. We're done with all of the tearing down and we are moving on to the building phase. Technically last night was our very first day, but I didn't really film that much because it was my first time working with this team. Alessio and his crew arrived yesterday afternoon and went straight to work with building the rebar cages and all of the foundational rebar. And then today we're gonna continue on with this process, but we managed to make a shocking amount of progress. We only have a little bit more rebar to lay this morning, and then we'll be moving on to actually mixing concrete. These cages went up shockingly fast. If you remember how we uh, made our stirrups by hand a long time ago with Heather bending all of the, the stirrups and the kids as well helping, uh, that went painfully slow. But they showed up with uh, proper factory made stirrups, which caused the work to go absurdly fast. I think last night we accomplished in a mere four or five hours what would have taken us four or five days to do uh, by hand by ourselves. So this might be confusing because the majority of the house we're doing a Vespaio or a crawl space where we have a large area underneath the floor that we can work with. Prego, prego. <laughs> but um, in this area for this room, we're doing a slab on grade. So it's just solid, thick, um, almost 45 centimeters of concrete through this entire thing which means we have to run all of our plumbing and our tubes that we can pass electrical through before we do the concrete. We changed plans from doing a crawl space to a slab on grade just two days ago. So it threw a lot of things into motion that we weren't quite prepared for, including um, the placement of all of these pipes, um, but they are being very accommodating and we're kind of 
quickly changing plans and wrapping things up and setting in those pipes. I woke up at four in the morning this morning realizing that I had forgotten we needed a pipe for the laundry room. So we're right now installing that and making sure that we don't forget anything before we start pouring concrete. So I am beyond ecstatic because not only is the work happening faster than I can keep up with, but I am getting what I would call the most priceless education right now because I'm working with experts who have been doing this for 20, 30 years. I just have a couple of years experience. So to be able to learn from their experience is um, to me priceless. So to give you a little bit more context as to what we're doing, we're of course pouring the floor and the foundation currently, but then we're gonna be building out three walls to enclose a room and then thus a terrace on top of that room. We only need three walls because we're gonna use the existing wall of the existing building, of course, as the fourth wall. Two of these walls are gonna be built out of stone using the old technique. And then one will be built out of cement simply for the additional strength and because you're able to make the wall thinner. So the back wall that sits up against the mountain will be made out of cement. And then the two walls that are gonna be exposed on the corner of the house will be made out of stones in a similar fashion that the rest of the house was made out of. big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Aura is the new all-in-one app for mental wellness and sleep that provides the world's largest mental wellness content library and community. You guys know that for a variety of reasons. This past year has been um, very hectic, chaotic, and stressful. It's very important for us to find ways to properly manage that stress and anxiety, get good sleep, and find motivation. And that's where Aura comes into play. Aura is not a one-size-fits-all mental well-being app. There's a huge amount of customization and variety and a huge content library. There's hundreds of coaches and therapists. There's content related to breath work, guided meditations. There's sleep sounds, motivational content, and a huge variety in their content library. One thing I love is that their content comes in a variety of time lengths. So if I only have a couple of minutes to spare, I can pop something on. Or if I have a long drive or a long walk, there's something for that as well. 
So if you've never tried Thunk this before, I would encourage you to give it a try. You'd be very surprised how a small investment of just a few minutes a day can make a big impact on your mental well-being. And right now, Aura is giving the first 500 people who use our unique link or scan the QR code a completely free trial, as well as 25% off if you continue to use the subscription. So go ahead, click on the link, check it out, and thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Building the walls out of stone is what I'm most excited about. That's gonna happen very, very soon. We, of course, have to finish pouring all of this cement. But to be able to learn from the experts here how to shape the stone, how to stack it, that's a skill that I've been wanting to properly learn for a very long time. I've, of course, built a few things around the property out of stone, but I've never had someone to teach me in person, and that I'm really looking forward to. Things are moving fast as we're mixing and pouring the cement foundation. We're also discussing the placement of all of the large pipes. Any drainage pipes that come from a shower or a toilet or anything like that, it's going to um, the sewer line. All of those need to be installed soon um, underneath the crawl space uh, before we pour any concrete over top of it. And then over top of those tubes, we're gonna be building with, I think bricks, I'm not entirely sure, um, that will hold up the cement floor that will pour inside of the house. Um, and those bricks actually create some kind of maze that allows the um, crawl space to air out, a bit of a maze for the air to go through to make sure that all corners and points of the crawl space dry out. But I'll give you more information about that in a future video as we're building that. quite a bit noisier on the job site today because we have to run a generator, which is the first time we've had to do that. So far we've done all of the building, including all of the mixing of the concrete for the internal foundation, using solar energy and our batteries here. But today at the pace we're working, the sun just can't keep up. So they brought their generator, which is a little loud and annoying, but it's all right. <laughs>
So earlier I mentioned that I was caught a little bit off guard uh, in the fact that we're pouring a slab on grade foundation rather than doing the crawl space, which is what we had to do for the rest of the house. The reason being is that this room is not officially part of the living space of the house. So you don't have to have that crawl space according to the law. We're simply using this for a laundry room for all of the electric to run into this area to, to house the, um, thinking of all of the Italian words, um, the furnace, that's the English word. My brain is getting all confused here. Um, the hot water heater, all of our um, utilities and everything will be housed into here, which is obviously a very large room for that. But then, um, as I mentioned, we're gonna have the laundry room and a lot of storage as well. So as a result of this not being a bedroom or a living room, we really don't need any extra space like that. We just needed a place to put all the utilities. They don't require that, um, this bio, the, the crawl space underneath the uh, floor. So the slab on grade is just an easier way of doing things, but we didn't have to hustle to get all that piping in. Thankfully we did. Not aware of anything more physically exhausting in construction than hand mixing cement. Uh, the three of us together are mixing and pouring uh, just shy of 10 cubic meters, which um, to put it lightly is um, a lot. <laughs> so there's not a lot of uh, talking or anything other than just mixing and plowing through. We're down to the last three mixes, which I'm very pleased with, not just pleased to be done with the exhausting work, but thrilled that we have gotten so far so fast. It's fascinating to me before we were mixing cement with uh, myself and one other person and adding a third person, the, uh, the speed and efficiency of that, um, you would think would be 50% more because there's 50% more people, but no, it's easily double or more than double, almost there. Well, that's it, it is finished. We have mixed and poured nearly 10 cubic meters of cement. So not only am I super excited to have the work done and looking so good, but I'm also just a little proud. Like we've done, done a really good job. I think it's a, a good thing to celebrate getting to this point because as I mentioned before, mixing by hand this much concrete, I cannot think of a more backbreaking part of construction than that. And to get this far so quickly, I'm very, very pleased. You can see we have rebar sticking up, which will be supporting the walls that we'll build. And we managed to get all of our pipes in last minute. This one right here, actually these two right here. I nearly forgot these two until the very last second. And thankfully they were accommodating to me as they were mixing cement. I was wrestling those in really quick last minute, but we managed to get all of the pipes in. These are all of our electrical runs. That is for a drain pipe over there for the furnace. This is for the laundry room. And we've got a, a tube running up for our condenser unit outside for the furnace. And right here, well, that's a secret. <laughs> I'm not even sure Heather knows about that one yet. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm just so thrilled with the progress we're making and cannot wait to show you the transformation over the coming weeks and months as we transform this building. But thank you so much for watching. Give us a like if you wouldn't mind. Leave us a comment. We love hearing from you and we will see you next week.